Hey there, it's Brad from DevOps Journey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy files using Ansible. Let's get into it. So for the basics of this, you're going to need an Ansible inventory file as well as a playbook. So let's have a look at my inventory file. I just have it named my hosts. And there you can see I have a group named servers and then I have node one, two and three. And I specify the IP address for each of the nodes. The next thing is the playbook. So I have a playbook here called playbook one. And in there, you can see that it gives the playbook name uh, become true. This is making sure that when you run the playbook, it's going to run as root and it's going to run it for everything in my inventory file. And then underneath that is the task. And this is using the copy module. And you can see here that it's copying this source file to this destination location. So it's copying the host file to each of my nodes so they will have name resolution. You can see that you can set the owner, the group, and the permissions. So if you want to copy over different types of files that have specific users and groups and permissions, you can do that as well. And the full documentation of this is on the Ansible website. So if you need something more specific, go ahead and check out the documentation there. So let's go ahead and run this Ansible playbook. So to run the Ansible playbook, we're going to go Ansible playbook. Then we're going to say I and then your inventory file. So mine was my hosts. We're going to specify dash capital K here. And this is so it prompts us to enter the root password. So make sure to specify that. And then we're going to say playbook one. And we'll go ahead and run this. And now you can see that it's asking us for the root password. So I'll put that in. And now it's going out and running the play. It's going to take that file and copy it over to each of the nodes individually. So let's go ahead and wait for this to complete. All right, so it looks like it completed here. We can see the task of copy file with owner and permissions has completed. Uh, for node one, it says OK. And then for node three and two, you can see that it's changed. So to explain this a little further, node one already had the exact same host file on it. So there is no need to copy it over. All Ansible did was verify that the host file was there, the permissions matched, and the contents of that host file was the same. For node two and node three, there was something different in regards to the host file itself or the permissions, so it needed to change it. So it went ahead and changed it and the playbook ran. So to verify, let's have a look at our host file. You can see that I have all the nodes there as well as my control workstation. And when I SSH into one of these nodes, I can see that the host file is exactly the same. So there you have it, a very easy way to copy over files using Ansible. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you want to learn more about Ansible, please go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.